Welcome to Grayon. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square A, B, C, D, M. A uh, line is drawn from this point B to G such that this is uh, G, B is also half of uh, this uh, four, un four, units, uh, four units square. So, and also a line is drawn from G to A and at the midpoint of that, uh, G, A, G, F is uh, the, a point which is also the midpoint of uh, G, A and connected to the midpoint of A and B and connected to the point C to form this uh, blue triangle. And we are required to find the area of this uh, blue triangle. Okay, so first thing that we can do, first method could be, uh, we can actually uh, draw a line from this point F to the left and from point A upwards until they meet perpendicularly and from F to this uh, side of this uh, I mean to the segment GB okay so since uh, the side of the square is uh, 4 so since this is divided into 2 in A via AE so this is uh, 2 and this is 2 units and this is a uh, if you draw a line from uh, this F downwards so this is also two two units and two units because uh, the hypotenuse is divided into two and so if the hypotenuse is divided into two this uh, this uh, blue segment is divided into two so that's why we have this two unit segment and this two unit segments. And this is GB is two also. But it is divided the side since the hypotenuse is divided into two. So this will be one and this is one. Okay. Okay, and this is already four. And this is four. Okay, since this is a square. Okay, so for this uh, first method, we have this uh, uh, newly formed uh, quadrilateral or rectangle HICD. And we are going to get that area. And we are just to deduct this area of these three triangles, HFE and FIC and this uh, ADC. Okay. So the area of the shaded is equal to the area of the rectangle and that is uh, the length is uh, 4 and the height is 5 and you need to deduct the three areas, the three triangles, so 1 half for uh, HEB, let's label the, I think this is HF uh, E. So one half times the base times two times this height. So the height is this should be one. So the height is three. And we need to deduct this other triangle. So one half times uh, two times five. Two times five minus one half times uh, this is a uh, FIC and this is a EDC. Okay, so one half times two times four. So area of the jaded is equal to twenty minus we cancel this so three. So we cancel this. So this becomes five. And we cancel this. This becomes four. 
Okay. So, 20 minus 3 minus 5 minus 4 is equal to uh, 8 units, 8 square units. And that is our answer for our first method. Okay, so for our second method is uh, we can actually subdivide this uh, triangle into three parts. Okay. This draw a line from F downwards and from E to BC. Okay, so next is we continue this uh, line downwards. Okay, so we form uh, two triangles. Okay, so this triangle and this triangle, this triangle. And we have this segment, so we can label this as uh, J. Okay, so since uh, this uh, this is the hypotenuse of this triangle EDC, so since this is divided by 2, uh, this EDC, is this EC is divided into 2 through J. So this, uh, this length is a uh, 1. This becomes 1, and this becomes 1, and this is uh, 3, and this is 2, and uh, this perpendicular height is actually uh, 2 units. Okay, so for this second method, this uh, we have these two triangles, so the base, we can have this uh, common base as FJ. So area of the J bed is equal to uh, area of uh, EFJ plus area of this uh, FCJ. Oh, sorry, J it should be J. So, area of the jaded is equal to one half times uh, the base is four and the height is two. Plus this uh, a f j. This is uh, actually a uh, one half. One half times the base is four and the height is two. Um, so we can cancel these two. And we have the area of the shaded to be 4 plus 4. So this will be 8 square units. Okay, so for our method 3, we can actually uh, do shearing. Okay. Okay, so but first we need to draw a line uh, F. From, I mean, that's a line that is parallel to FE from this point B. Okay. So, this line. And notice that uh, this, uh, there is a perpendicular, there should be this same perpendicular height from F to this uh, segment EC. Okay, so notice that uh, we can actually draw a line from F to B. Okay, so F to B. And if we uh, draw a line from E to B, And uh, since this has this uh, same uh, perpendicular height, okay, same perpendicular height at B, this 
let's say this is a h so b h and this is f i so f i and b h is the same so they have the same height okay and therefore uh, this triangle a b c is a uh, uh, equal to triangle uh, AFC in terms of area. Okay, so I have highlighted this uh, newly formed uh, triangle EBC. EBC with orange. So notice that the we can make this uh, segment BC as the base, which is uh, 4 units. And the height of this uh, newly formed triangle so if we draw a perpendicular line uh, at BC from this point E. So we actually form this perpendicular line. And uh, since this uh, perpendicular line has a measure of 4 units, which is congruent to a CD, so we can say that the area of this uh, shaded uh, Blue region is equal to one half. This is the big the triangle EBC. So this is just one half times uh, four of a BC. Let's say this is BC, and this is a uh, E. Let's call this a uh, J. This point. So EJ. So area of H is equal to one half times uh, BC, which is a uh, four units, and EJ, which is a uh, four units also. So we can cancel this. So two. So area of the shaded region is equal to eight square units, and that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solutions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.